Friends, welcome to Colonial Park United Church of Christ, where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. Thank you for choosing to worship with us today. Please let your participation be made known by uh, signing in on our online attendance pad or by commenting on Facebook or YouTube or by contacting the church office in some way. But thank you for being here. We know that worship is a choice and we're glad that you've chosen to worship with us today. A few announcements, most of which are in your bulletin, but just uh, mention that today is Music Sunday, where we get to celebrate the music and the ministry of music and song in our lives and in our church. A special thank you to Pastor Scott, our Minister of Worship and the Arts, for uh, expanding our ministry in such great ways to those of you who have served in our choirs. We give you thanks today for all that you have done, not only to help today possible, but to help our church worship in the fullest way it possibly can. Also, a special thank you to Anthony Halbert and to Tom Washick, both of whom are assisting in worship today, along with Tom Miller, who is our lay reader today and has uh, chosen to uh, share his lay reading from his home, and I am grateful for his recording. We have another, a number of other re, uh, recordings from members in our church. Uh, thank you to Lisa Collins, to uh, Tyler and Renee Strange, um, both of which who have also given us recordings from their homes, but have uh, shared their special talents and gifts with us today. Also, friends, just a note that tomorrow is council. Um, so if you have any needs for our church council and church leadership to be aware of, please uh, give somebody on council a call so that they can bring your concerns to council tomorrow evening. Also, just an update on our Rejoice, Renew, Revive campaign. Uh, so far, we have received pledges from 50 of you. Thank you very much to those of you who have already pledged. Uh, to date, we are just about at $420,000 pledged, and we are thrilled. Um, I thank you to each of you who have pledged up to this point, and please know that it is not too late for you to pledge, for you to contribute to the future of this church in that way. Also, just a note, uh, June 2nd is our Rose Breakfast. Now, at times in the past, perhaps in the distant past, the Rose Breakfast was by invitation only. That is not the case. It actually has not been the case for a number of years, but certainly is not the case this year. So if you have any interest in joining us on June 2nd in the morning for the Rose Breakfast, please contact the church office and let us know that you want to be seated at a table for that special gathering with a special speaker. It is a Wednesday morning, and I hope that as many of you can attend as possible. My friends, one additional announcement that we wanted to share with you this morning is that our deepest sympathies are extended to Jan Sleek and Ben and all of their family following the death this week of Joe Sleek. Please keep that family in your prayers. Joe was recently moved home on hospice, um, and so he was able to enjoy some comforting time with his family. Um, but we lift the, the family in our prayers now during this time of transition. All of that being said, my friends, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship.
Friends, won't you join me in today's call to worship? To worship is to listen for the ancient song of creation and to recognize within that song our individual songs. Our, our voices, voices vary. vary. Some, some warble, warble some, some bellow, but the, but the song, song is universal. universal. To worship is to share these melodies and dissonances of our human condition. Worship, worship is, is our, our ode, ode to, to God, God and, and to, to the God, God within, within us. us. We, we come, come together, together to, to celebrate, celebrate with, with all, all of creation. Of creation. Let us pray. Touch us, O God, through the ministry of melody, through the sounds and senses of song, through the, through the wordless wonder which fills our souls with heaven, through the spirit which teases our feet to dance and causes our hearts to overflow, that we might be absorbed in the mystery and magic of music as we stand in this moment of oneness, may our lives be bonded to each other and to you. Amen. Beautiful music 
every note perfect, joining together in graceful harmony. This is what we imagine our lives to be. And yet, our love goes flat, and our anger becomes sharp. Let us confess how we struggle to keep the measured beat of God's life-giving melody in our lives. Joy giving God, we know who we are, people who hear the harmony of your grace and love in our souls, but who sing off key. We want to learn new songs, but those haunting tunes of our past mistakes run through our heads. We long to make a joyful noise to you, but the hurts inflicted on us and the pain we have caused others silence our voices. Sing to us, God of grace, sing of your forgiveness, your hope, your love for us. Strike a chord of humility in our hearts so our eyes can see all that you have done for us. And in believing, we might echo that new song of hope and life composed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, hear this good news. When we follow God's direction and allow the Holy Spirit to be our guide, we succeed in becoming a beautiful part of the divine music of the universe. It's hard work. It takes practice. But know this. Through grace, we are all forgiven of our mistakes. So keep on playing our songs. Lift our eyes to our Maker, who is our help and our salvation.
Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, O God, in the reading of your word, that we would hear what you have to say to us today. May your Holy Spirit be poured out upon us through Jesus Christ. Amen. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God, thirsting for you, my God. My soul is thirsting. The Gospel lesson today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 6 through 19. Listen for the still-speaking words of Christ. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them, and now I am no longer 
in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost, except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth.
Friends, as we come to our time of prayers of the people, just a simple reminder that we are praying community and want to be praying with you. So please let us know of your prayer requests, your joys and your celebrations, as well as your concerns, so that we might share them with our prayer team and with our, uh, our prayer chain. So please let us know of your needs. For our prayer today, we will be listening to and viewing a video from the group known as Convergence. It's a leadership group. And it is entitled, Leaning In, A Prayer of Intention. Let us pray. For the heart 
some of us are regretful. And now let us pray the prayer of our Savior using the words that are most familiar to you. Our Father, Mother in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Did you know our church has two special funds designated to help support our music ministry? The organ fund, as you may suspect, was created to assist with necessary repairs or upgrades for our sanctuary pipe organ. Currently, the organ fund contains $3,298. Pipe organ repairs are very involved and costly. We have projected $340,000 will be needed for the restoration of our organ in our capital campaign. If you are fond of our organ's wonderful presence in worship, consider giving a donation to the organ fund as we look forward to the major repairs and upgrades needed for our instrument. Our second fund, the Anything Music Fund, is a more general fund that supports special musical purchases like guest musicians, musical equipment, concert performances, and new instruments. The Anything Music Fund currently contains $13,735. Music is an integral part of our worship and congregational life. Without fine music, our church would lose a significant part of what makes us Colonial Park United Church of Christ. 
please consider making a one-time or recurring donation to support the music ministries of our church. You may offer your support by check, payable to CPUCC with music fund or organ fund in the memo or on the envelope. God sees all things. God sees our comings and our goings, our strengths and our weaknesses, our needs and our desires. God sees in us the potential we do not yet see in ourselves. I invite you to share your offerings and gifts out of the abundance that is God's vision for us. Please remember that while the church building may be closed, our resources are still used and bills need to be paid. Your faithful contributions support the ministry and outreach of this congregation and the wider church. Your financial support may be offered by check and mailed to CPUCC online at cpucc.org or by electronic funds transfer by contacting your bank or kneely at cpucc.org. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. There in the ground, his body lay, light of the world by dawn.
Gracious God, you offer us abundant life. We offer you thanks and praise. Ground us and grow us in love. Love for the earth and the world. Love for our neighbor and one another. Love for you, the author of love. Your goodness abounds. Your provision is sure. Do a new thing here as we offer these gifts of gratitude. To you, we rededicate our loves and lives. Amen. My friends, may the divine melody of the Holy Spirit be at work in your heart and on your lips and in your lives. May you participate in the divine perichoresis or the dancing of the members of the Holy Trinity that forms the movement of creation. May your life dance for God. May God go before you, behind you, beside you, and within you and bring you peace. Amen. <laughs>